we're asked to determine how many elements n in the given set, which is a set of integers from one through 2,218, where n is a multiple of three, five, or eight. To help set this up, let's let set a equal the set containing multiples of three, set b equal the set containing multiples of five, and set c equal the set containing multiples of eight. And therefore, a intersect b is the set containing multiples of three and five, which would be multiples of 15, and a intersect c is the set containing multiples of three and eight, which would be multiples of three times eight are 24, and b intersect c is the set containing multiples of five and eight, which would be multiples of 40. And then finally, a intersect b intersect c is the set containing multiples of three and five and eight, which would be multiples of 120. Because we're looking for the number of multiples of three or five or eight, we're looking for the number of elements in A union B union C. Remember the number of elements in a set is called the cardinality of a set. Looking at the formula above, the cardinality of A union B union C, which is what we are looking for, is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B plus the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of A intersect B minus the cardinality of A intersect C minus the cardinality of B intersect C, and then finally plus the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C. Because the set is a set of integers from one through 2,218, we can determine the cardinalities of the given sets using division. So for example, for the cardinality of set A, which is a number of elements from the given set that are multiples of three, we take 2,218 and divide by three, and whenever we get a decimal, we always round down regardless of the decimal. Notice how the quotient is approximately 739.3. We round down to 739, which indicates the cardinality of set A equals 739. There are 739 elements in the given set that are multiples of three. To determine the cardinality of set B, or the number of elements from the given set that are multiples of five, we divide by five and round down, which would give us 443. The cardinality of set B is 443. Let's line this up a little bit better. To determine the cardinality of C, which contains the multiples of eight, we divide 2,218 by eight and round down, which gives us 277. The cardinality of set C is 277. To determine the cardinality of A intersect B, which contains multiples of three and five, or multiples of 15, we divide by 15 and round down, which gives us 147. The cardinality of A intersect B equals 147. To determine the cardinality of A intersect C, which contains multiples of 24, we divide by 24 and round down to 92. The cardinality of A intersect C equals 92. Next, to determine the cardinality of B intersect C, we divide by 40 and round down to 55. The cardinality of B intersect C is 55. And finally, to determine the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C, which contains multiples of three and five and eight. Since three times five times eight is 120, we divide by 120 and round down to 18. The cardinality of A intersect B intersect C is 18. And now we have all the information we need to determine the cardinality of A union B union C, which will give us the number of elements from the given set that are multiples of three or five or eight. Subbing in the cardinalities that we just found, the cardinality of A is 739, plus the cardinality of B, which is 443, plus the cardinality of C, which is 277, minus the cardinality of A intersect B, which is 147, minus the cardinality of A intersect C, which is 92, minus the cardinality of B intersect C, which is 55, and then plus the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C, which is 18. All of this simplifies to 1,183. 
So now we know the given set contains 1,183 elements that are multiples of 3 or 5 or 8. I hope you found this helpful.